All right, hello YouTube and my subscribers and anybody who's happened to come upon this video. Today's video is going to be just a, going to try to be a quick comparison, but we'll see how long the video ends up taking. But it's going to be a comparison of the old versus the new One Tigress EDC pouch. As shown here, this is the old one, and I'll get out the new one after I'm done talking about the old one. So the features on the old one. Um, from the outside, let's do a 360 of the outside. On the front, you have a little pouch for notepads and little notebooks. Right next to it, you have like a pen slot, pencil slot, wherever you want to put into it. Um, you could even put a pen light in it if you really wanted to, but it's really designated for your pens and pencils for your notepad or um, smartphone. Maybe you put your smartphone in here and you could put a pen light, but it's all up to you. It's your EDC, not mine. For me, I got my pens and my notepad. On the side, we got a couple zippered compartments. These zippered compartments do only go half, about halfway up of the pouch, so they do not clamshell open. Um, it's a good design if you're on the trail or something and you're using your, you're pulling out uh, sunscreen or something out, out of your pouch and you don't want your stuff to clamshell open and possibly spill out all over the place. Um, you know, uh, a lot of people do like the clamshell designs, but um, we'll get more conversation about that later. On the back, you have a lot of molly strapping on the back. Um, the horizontal strapping and then two vertical straps. The straps are um, sewn in. They do not come out. So if these break, you're going to have to sew them up or uh, figure it out. But so far, a few years, I've, or a couple of years I've had this with the uses I've used it and I've gone to so many events with it. They seem to hold up very nice and they, they just uh, click at the bottom with a button. Uh, so they're just uh, strap, molly straps with the buttons on the bottom. The other side, it's pretty similar to the other side I showed you. Uh, same thing, the zippers only go halfway. On the top, you do have a like a carabiner that this came with and this carabiner is actually I've used it more than you know a few times and it actually became useful so I really like this carabiner. Um, on the bottom uh, you just got the bottom section of the pouch there's no drainage hole no nothing it's a no frills design it's literally just a pouch um, to add to your EDC to carry extra gear and or stuff with you on your day-to-day -day basis. I've actually used this on hiking trips. I've used this on outings when I volunteered and I just strapped this to my backpack because it has the waist molly straps on it. So this pouch makes really good for a little trail pack too. Like uh, have your essentials in there, at least like bug spray, sunscreen, notepad, pen, paper, you know, simple stuff. We're gonna go in through the top portion. Here, actually, let's get these all out real quick. So this pouch just has a small notepad. I use it for field notes and then the pen and pencil holder I have a sharpie fine point and then just a basic ballpoint pen. Now that's out of the way let's get to the top portion or the outside portion of the pouch. This is what it looks like when I first open it I have a five hour energy everywhere I go just in case I need extra energy with uh, when I'm doing stuff or volunteering or whatnot. Um, Right here, this is my Altoid Survival Tin. I've uh, done a video on this. Uh, I just try to carry this anytime I'm out and about. So, really good item to have around. Right here, it's just a small little Gerber clutch multi tool. Um, you'd be surprised when you might need a multi tool when you're out and about in the woods or wherever. And that's, that's it. So inside there, it's just a mesh like net. So you can designate stuff up in, uh, in here and in here. I did have actually bug spray in here, but I used it all the past uh, warm season we had, but now we're in winter, so it's not in there anymore. And even if I, um, yeah, it's used up, so I don't have it anymore. So in this second pouch, you open it up and the first thing you see is my hand sanitizer. I always try to carry hand sanitizer anywhere I go. Um, trying to do this video justice, but there is a divider in here. So you have some um, organization in here. And this is just a boo-boo kit. It's a little medical kit. This with band-aids and simple stuff. And in the little divided pouch right here is just a cliff bar. Basically, if I need extra energy or I'm hungry on the trail or when I'm out and about. 
and try to do this justice. I can't really see. <laughs> so hopefully it's picking up, the camera's picking it up nicely. But there is a large compartment pouch and then there's just this little flap to divide it in between. So now let me get the other pouch out and show you guys what's new about it. All right, let's talk about this new pouch. This is the new version of the EDC pouch. There's a lot of similar features, but there's a lot of extras in this new pouch. Let's do a quick 360 on the outside and make our way on the inside. On the front, it's the same same um, same design. You have a little notepad or you can put your cell phone holder in here. Don't matter what you want to do it with it. For me, it's a notepad, but this does fit a lot of smaller smartphones for uh, V20s, V30s, Notes, and other larger phones, the 8 Plus, uh, I, I would think you'll have a hard time getting them in there or they probably won't fit. I did have a Note 3 a while ago and it did fit in there, but very snugly because I had a case on it. So that's just something uh, to know, to note. Uh, next to it, same thing. It's a pencil, pen, uh, pen, pencil pouch for your little, you know, writing utensils. On the side view is when you start seeing noticeably differences is one pouch only goes halfway now and this one is actually a clamshell pouch. Um, it opens up and it clamshells out. It's really nice. And there are two little sections of molly webbing right here so you can add um, carabiners or flashlights or other gear on the outside of your pouch. So that's very cool. I think I might add a larger flashlight on the outside just for convenience. Um, it's always great to have an extra to your flashlights or a backup to your backup. You know, one is none, two is one. On the back, same uh, design, basically the same. The Molly straps with the these straps being sewn in and they do not detach. So that's the same and they're same strapping, same everything basically in the back. Nothing's really changed. Side view again. Uh, this pouch, or this, um, yeah, this compartment only goes halfway, and this compartment is clamshelled. I'll show you that in a moment. The top view is same thing as the last pouch, except there is no carabiner with this pouch this time. So I thought that was a little odd, but I'll just grab my old carabiner and switch it to this pouch because I have the chance to do that. But if you don't have the old pouch, you'll have to get a different carabiner to add to this pouch if that's what you want to do with it. And for the bottom, there's actually a drain hole on the bottom of this pouch, so that's very cool. Um, with the last pouch, there's no drain hole. And so if water gets collected in there, if you go in the river or, you know, who knows what you guys are doing on your adventures, you know, you know, life happens, you spill in your canoe or your raft, or, you know, you just, Get, you get soaked or something who knows yeah so that's really cool to have a drainage port for this pouch so i thought that was kind of neat let's try to get into the front pouch and so i can show you guys the new differences so like i said this does clamshell open so it opens up pretty pretty large pretty well there is elastics in here uh so it does generally want to spring back so uh, good design, so if you're trying to get stuff out on the trail or when you're doing stuff in general, um, it won't completely open up, like flatten, open up, and your stuff will spill out, so that's really cool. I know Condor does like a piece of cord, usually, to keep their stuff from opening up all the way, and you can adjust it to your preference, but I think this is a really neat way of doing things, and I really like it because then you are guaranteed this like bucket section of stuff that cannot get out unless you go upside down with this pouch open. So I thought that was really cool. The noticeable differences is on this side of the pouch, there is a divider and there are some elastic, um, I th I, I'm just going to call these dividers. Uh, you can put your like multi-tool right here and a flashlight right here, or, you know, who knows? Pretty cool. They give you the option of more customization with this pouch. So that's really great. And you do have two more dividers in here. So if you just really want to hammer down like organization with this pouch, they're giving it with you, giving it to you with this new pouch. So um, if I want to put like my Altoids kit in here and my, all my other stuff I usually have in the front pouch, I can also put hand warmers in this section or this section or, you know, who, wherever I figure it out, I'll figure it out. But that's really cool. 
Uh, near the top of this pouch, there is this little plastic uh, clip, like hanging clip, so you can uh, attach a maybe a keychain flashlight or a keychain pocket knife or you know whatever you want to attach to it, and it will be secured and won't fall out of the pouch. So that's very cool. And let's go and look at the secondary pouch. Opens up, it's basically the same exact pouch as the last one. You have your divider and just your large pouch for your stuff. So same organization as the same as the last EDC pouch. Another noticeable difference is with the the tabs you pull on to open the zippers. These ones do not have the shrink wrap uh, type of material that this one came with, the version one, and this is the version two. It doesn't come with that. It's not impossible to just do that yourself at home. Uh, I, I'm probably going to end up doing it because I really like the extra added rigidness that a uh, shrink wrap gives your little pull tabs. And uh, I'm not going to be taking my pull tabs off anytime soon to like use the cordage because that's nothing basically. So it's not a big deal to me. So hopefully I answered any questions on the new the new pouch the version one and the version two pouches, uh, basically the same pouches, except this new pouch has a nice clamshell opening uh, for the compartment. It opens up really large and you can add a lot more stuff. And with the new clamshell pouch being designed like that, it's going to expand more than this one. And I will post pictures and comments on one tigress's Facebook pages of what I'm going to add extra to this pouch because this pouch does noticeably open up more or expand more than the last pouch. So I'm going to add a lot more stuff to it and all the reviews and the pictures will be on Facebook if you're interested. All right. Well, that was my review on the One Tigress EDC pouch, the version two of it at least. And thanks for watching everybody. Hope to see you in the next video. Take care.